In the fall of 2020, I was invited to teach a bottle brick wall workshop at the Tamaqua Sustainability Project in Pennsylvania. I took the opportunity to meet everyone that was involved one-on-one, -on -one, to hear their unique stories, and to share them with all of you. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to Zach, Sid, and DJ, a funny bunch from Philly, who discovered the workshop via a Google group called Puffin, or the Philadelphia Urban Farming Network. My name's Zach. I, oh, are we filming right now? Filming we are now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> are we on camera? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I frizzed out, okay? It's been Cut. Raining. Cut. I need to edit. It was cool to, to be able to physically build something, yeah. you know, to get to, to follow a process from, from start to finish, you know? Yeah, I love the opportunity to, like, I think it's good to just to be in the midst of a project like this that's like going on and just to hear from people that are working on it, that have worked on it on different iterations of like something like an earthship, you know, building with recycled materials, building in general, like knowing that the, the space that we've been working on is with, that it only was started like a year ago or, or something, you know, it's just like, oh, cool. Like this is what you can do with like this many hands and like these kinds of resources. Yeah. And just like a different, um, lens to try to like learn something instead of just reading about it in a book or watching like a YouTube video on it or something mm -hmm. um, to actually just like fall into it in person and have you know a more um, tangible experience mm -hmm. to then start your education mm -hmm. um, you know because like even just like having this thing we're like we're like all right how do we like make a little like you know glass bottle like you know uh stool or something like around a fire pit like back at our yeah. house in philly you know i liked it a lot yeah i thought it was cool is it bill that lives there mm -hmm. i just mixed bill and well up like <laughs> the names but it was it was like honestly i really liked hearing him talk and like everything he had to say about like solar panels and like the energy he uses and like the water yeah, yeah the water like I, I felt like every time like he like had a moment to just like sit down and talk to people it was like yeah, I got I got a lot out of that. Um, I got a, a lot out of like the hands-on stuff um, as well, definitely. Um, yeah, I don't know if I've ever been a part of anything that like kind of threw you into it this much. Like mm -hmm. here, hop on this power tool. Yeah. Like like wash all these things. So that was definitely helpful to like see see like what goes into like building these walls, hands-on. I would say for me, it comes from like affordable housing is a big thing and trying to understand what are the other ways in which like we can house people. Like that's a big interest for sure. I just think it, I think it should be easier for people to, to, to share these skills and to get access to these skills to build their own shit, you know, and live, live self-sufficiently. The <laughs> urban farming like um, community in Philly is like really well connected. I've been I've been moving through it for the past like six years. Um, it's just like it's just like an incredibly like mutually supportive, diversified sort of like group of people that are really concerned with not just like growing food, but also like providing access to food, empowering everyone to grow their own food. Even though we're in a city, we can be growing food to sustain ourselves, to sustain our communities. Um, there should be more food, fresh food, like access in general all throughout the city and everywhere. That's one of the things that, that's one of the, the reasons why I'm interested in stuff like this is like coming at it through like a, a food lens. So I got really excited hearing about the greenhouse um, and, and figuring out sustainable ways to run things like, to run something like a greenhouse. Um, there's a lot of cost. There's a lot of like fossil fuel that goes into running a greenhouse usually. A lot of plastic, a lot of icky stuff like that. I'm, I'm interested in finding just like more like sustainable structures to to grow food with. I don't know, I think I'm just generally attracted to things that teach skill sets, especially um, especially anything to do with using your hands and building. Um, it kind of like weighs heavily whenever I go like um, whenever I make food or I eat or anything like that, like all the materials involved in like people's everyday life that just ends up in a landfill and how that just like goes and sits and rots and like 
goes back into the earth and ruins it essentially uh, but also to like piggyback off of what DJ was saying is that like I I was also interested in this and like other other models like this to like see how a workshop is run and see how see how beneficial it is to pass on skills that we could maybe like keep passing on and hand off to people that like wouldn't be able to access this sort of thing now like know how to build housing or like we are able to form a group and like build sustainable housing for other people that are unhoused or a community center or something like that i think it's really important to like even if it isn't like this workshop isn't a direct result like those things aren't a direct result of this workshop i think it's important to like keep that in the conversation like who are we building these things for who are we teaching these things to where is this knowledge and energy and money going to We found this workshop on Puffin, which is the Philadelphia Urban Farming Network. Um, it's a Google group, and it brings together um, like farmers and folks in Philly that do um, work in food justice and food equity. It's a place where you can post jobs. You can tell people about workshops that you're giving or attending. There's like meetups about like food policy also. That's another really cool part of it. But there's also people like, hey, I need like 20 straws, bales of straw. Like, yeah. where can I get that? Or like, hey, I have like a bunch of, like we just put up, we just reskinned uh, we'll our just greenhouse. Gather. So we had all this, we had all this extra greenhouse plastic. And um, so that's something that we could post on Puffin to be like, hey, we have all this extra stuff. Does anybody want it? Like, you know, so it's just like a constant exchange. of actually where I got my last job. It's where... Zap got his two last jobs. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Got it's several gigs on there. It's great. All right, that's it for this video. This interview is featured in a full-length documentary on the Off-Grid Guru channel, so be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos covering this inspirational project. If you want to check out the Philadelphia Urban Farming Network, I'm going to have a link in the description for you. Plus, if you want to check out the Tamaqua Sustainability Project in Pennsylvania, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can stay up to date with all the courses and classes that are available.